Hello everybody, and welcome back to another reaction video with your boy, Horden Stefan Roy, possibly one of the lamest reactors up here on the YouTube world. Uh, basically, for the most part, we do full-length album reviews, and you can check that on the other channel down below, but we decided to venture into the foray of conventional reactions, where we hit play on the song. A song we've never heard before. So person coming to watch this who's heard it a lot and knows all the nuances. Keep in mind, this is the first time I have heard it. As you can see in the, where the fuck is it there? The ad is still playing for the video because, yo, I like ads, so we play ads here. Um, and that's just to keep some mind. Um, a little bit before we get into it, I think it's fair to contextualize some familiarity with the artist. And we are talking about today's corn. And I think it's You'll Never Find Me. So very recently, we actually did do a corn review. It was Follow the Leader. And we've also done a second corn album. So over on the other channel, we've done two full length corn album reviews, which, you know, I'll link it below for the sake of it all. And uh, yeah, that's more track by track going through it. So this is more in like the late 90s period of corn. That's kind of what I've really delved into. As a teenager, Angsty Me heard all of the corn singles and then bought the Greatest Hits album. And personally, I've liked most of what I've ever heard come from them. Jonathan Davis has an amazingly cool voice. I like even the experimental stuff with Skrillex. That was super exciting back when I was a little bit younger. But on the real, I've fallen off on the corn train. And when I saw it, that corn released the music video yesterday i was like you know what is going down this is going to be the reaction video that i'm going to talk about for this very friday and yeah we are probably going to review the new album when it drops over on the other channel so subscribe and watch for that over there you can subscribe like the video down here leave a comment feel free to bash me hit that dislike button because you know i'm down for that shit and let go we're gonna we're gonna play it you're gonna hear a little bit of the ad and uh, then I'm gonna hit this skip. Well, it's only five seconds. We can just we can give Carlsberg a little bit of free love. Let's see what it's about. So um, if it cut there, it's because uh, I left Skype open and a colleague reached out to me and unfortunately we might have missed like the first second. Killed the vibe. I saw the title screens. I was ready to go. Damn it, Holden, not being prepared properly. Let's do it. Amateur hour continues. I felt good. I'm not even gonna lie. Just just hearing that good sounding corn feel, the deep pacing, the pulsy, the the groovy rhythms, the overall new metal y feel. I do I do enjoy the fact that new metal seems to be making its little resurgence in life. Uh, whether or not corn wants to be branded that way, or you feel they are, that's the sound it sounds like to me, the person who's feeling and reacting without thinking much. Um, Basically, this sounded great to me. Like, I got delighted the second the music kicked in. I thought the the video, I'm not really paying as much attention to it. I guess an asteroid fell. Like, it, it's just filler to me. It doesn't mean a lot. I got excited more when I saw them doing that old school, like, full body dance thing that they do. That was fun. Um, but lyrically, it's kind of what I would expect. Um, some form of self-deprecating, trying to find yourself, dark feelings-y stuff as Jonathan continues to cope with his issues through lyricism and i like it because it's kind of like i felt like we were just listening to what he produced 20 years ago and it's got like a consistency to it and in a sense it's cool sounding how they've been able to reinvent it with this polish but still almost maintain the same core edge 
of what I was just listening to a couple weeks ago. So I'm really excited so far. I mean, I'm 31. I don't know how much I'm going to connect to relating to what he's saying here as much as I might have when I was a little bit younger. But holy shit, man, if you're young and you bumping this stuff and you're going through some things right now in life, actually at any age, if you're going, this is the kind of music that is excellent for when you're going through things in life. I guess a good way to put it. Let's keep going. That break, I, I'm sorry to cut it there. I just I wanted to talk a little bit about that little pre-chorus chorus set up there that they had. That was nice. I didn't catch a lot of the words because I was really just kind of caught up in the overall flow and vibe a bit. I feel like if you're a corn fan and you really, really like what they do, this is it. Like to me, like this is fantastic. This is it, it still taps into the same part of me that gets excited when I put on a song like Here to Stay. But meanwhile, I also feel like it has that kind of modern edge that seems to be going on with stuff. At least maybe the mixing or what it is. But I find this really enjoyable and pleasant to listen to. And I'm kind of excited to get back to this little break thing that I wasn't really expecting. Because I was going to like, in my head, I was going, maybe it's a little formulaic. But then this popped up. And I was like, what a cool way to like break it all up and catch me off guard. But we'll keep going through it and see what happens next. Yeah, I mean, the second verse, I didn't, like, catch anything super significant in the lyrics that made me just feel this overwhelming urge to talk. I don't want to call this generic because it'll piss off a bunch of people and they'll hit dislikes and whatnot, and that's not really what I'm going for. But this is, like, generic in the best possible way. Um, if I'm going to go throw on a corn song in 2019, the last thing I really want is for it to sound nothing like corn. Like, I guess a good comparison of what that is, is I kind of like Fall Out Boy's earlier work, like before their little hiatus. I think it has like a charm to it. It isn't maybe the coolest thing out there, but when we listen to Fall Out Boy's Mania, what I had knowledge-wise going into that review was what I grew up on, I suppose, when they popped and whatnot in like, you know, like shit like Dance Dance or whatever. And just hearing the complete transition in a pop or, and it breaks my heart to bring it up, but even the way Linkin Park kind of went full pop with uh, their last album, unfortunately. And to me, it was like, it was well made, but like there's a part of me that's a fan of a certain sound of the music. And I feel like, as a person who hasn't touched corn to like just tap in and hear that it, it still sounds like corn it's it's the same kind of subject matter it means like i can go like blind listen to it and know that if i'm in a mood for corn i don't have to worry that like corn sold out or maybe they did and i, I missed that phase but this sounds fucking great to me This is too good. Um, 
I don't want to call it generic again to piss off people, but fuck, it reminds me of a lot of like their like screamy bridgey parts on a lot of the songs where it kind of is like um like a good example is y'all want a single where that little part at the end it starts off kind of calm and then it just like picks up or uh you know where it's like the other one where it's like bring it down yeah here to stay a lot of their songs where they have that like third instead of a new of a third verse more of like a thing they'll repeat with intensity and it grows and it just culminates up into when you get to the last verse and i think this one is hype i like it i'm lost and never find me i guess um it, it's an interesting point because you know especially if you are coping with some stuff and i want to say on the real if you're coping with some stuff you really can feel like that where a lot of the words and i know i may have played it off a little bit like it's kind of cheesy or something and that wasn't really my intentions the more i think about it as we're going through this video the more i'm like corn helped me feel like i wasn't alone at a time in my life where i was going through some dark things and feeling some dark things so to hear this song now and to appreciate that corn can still provide that same benefit to like a whole new group of people is truly wonderful and so kudos to them for like still caring enough to give this level of what i believe to be honest expression so i'm trying to I'm trying to like you know that's why i mean like i don't want to be like it's generic like it's a positive thing like they're fucking doing a great service to a lot of people in my opinion so let's just see what happens next <laughs> I like the mic stand that he's singing with. Let's just play that back for a second so we can like maybe pause on it. Let's see if we can get a better shot. Look at how fucking sick. I think it's a woman. Is that what it is? Anyway, it's fucking nice. Yeah, it is. That's a sick one. I want one like that. Can we just like pause for a second again? Yeah, we will. It's my video. And talk about how cool his breathing skills are. Like some people when they go <gasps> whatever the fuck they do, uh, it sounds like shit or whatever. But Jonathan Davis has a lot of control over how fresh he can make that sound. I feel like the bass in this track is just beautifully done. I'm giving no credit to the bass. I really enjoy the way it flows. I'm feeling the way the drums had this high intensity to them. I'm feeling the way that it has its like distinct loopy parts for the sake of memory because it's a pop song. Because okay corn's pop at this point um too many people like corn for it to not be pop pop stands for popular and corn is fucking huge one of the biggest out there right now um and like yeah so like all of this sounds fantastic like this is pop design for me honestly that's how i look at it it's so cool to me Love the whispering layer that's going on underneath over there. Okay, I know sometimes I pause it too much. I'm learning how to do reactions. This is like not really something I'm comfortable with yet. So I actually really dig the kind of like deeper grunty screamy things with the more whimpery higher pitched stuff that's going on at the end there. It was a little bit more subtle and you kind of have the, the movie-esque part of this music video coming back in as masking it. But I think that song outro, the way it just finishes like that may be one of my favorite parts of this song that I've heard so far. The seven seconds left. Oh, there's nothing left. Well, that's it. This was my little run through of corn. You'll never find me. So on a first listen, uh, I can say that I couldn't make out the words in the chorus. I had a lot of trouble figuring out what the fuck he was saying there. 
um i do think that what i caught in the verses made me really connect to it. it made me really feel like this was cool and like brought me back into that nostalgia i think i touched on most of the points i would make about this song throughout the whole video um all that to say i really like it i think when it hits spotify if it's not there i'm gonna go add it to my playlist and it makes me actually really freaking excited for the new album and the review that we're gonna do for it i don't often check out singles ahead of time but well the video dropped i was curious this is how it went down i give this song 4.25 on 5 like it's straight up well made the the perfection in the way that they play their instruments like you can just feel the nearly 30 years or whatever maybe it's past 30 years at this point of like togetherness and cohesiveness that goes into the craft of what is created here i know that not the whole lineup stays the same but i definitely know that a lot of them are still the same lineup either way maybe i'm wrong whatever Either way, uh, let's move into the end of this part where I just say thank y'all. This song was fucking fantastic. I hope you let me know in the comments what y'all think about this review, the reaction, uh, what you thought about the song. Are you excited for the album? Do you feel this is like a huge depart from where they came from? Or, or do you kind of like the fact, do you agree with me that it kind of like throws it back to like this older sound, but in a way that's fresh? Let me know what you think, as always. And if you made that effort to comment, I will make that effort to respond to you, even if you're not nice to me. Um, so yeah, feel free to hit that subscribe button for more of them. Check out the other channel for full-length album reviews. Uh, hit the like or dislike button, whichever one you want. We can see a contest, which one goes up faster. Special thanks to the patrons, Ismail Kadamsi, Chris Prado, Jonathan Barnes, DJ Black Hurricane, Linda Williams. They support what we do. They help get us a new camera. They get to tell us what albums to review every couple of weeks. On um, uh, Yeah, so if you want to check us that out for a dollar or more, you can help us grow into something that prospers more than what we are um and yeah we also made some music that's over on the other channel like i said that's where all the good stuff's happening check that out let me know what you think peace and have yourself a wonderful day